The gather view can be used to view any seismic data with a fourth dimension. The most common data type in this category is offset gathers, of which I'm displaying a single offset gather here. To determine a volume data type, simply select the volume in the control panel and check the volume details. A regular stacked volume shows three dimensions, such as inline, crossline, and time. This gather volume shows an additional offset dimension to those seen on the stacked data. The gather location can be viewed using a crosshair on a map, or as in this example, a 3D view. As the cursor moves down the gather volume, the position is tracked on the full stacked volume in 3D space. Let's take a closer look at that 3D view. As I change the inline and crossline displayed in the gather view, the 3D view also updates as the location links are turned on. As well as linking the stack volume to the offset gather, I can select the offset gather volume directly in the 3D view. This changes the current inline into an offset plane defined by the offset value in the menu bar. Increasing the offset value shows higher offset planes along a displayed inline. A navigation marker in the 3D view shows the current offset position. You can grab the offset marker and interactively slide it to new offset locations. Using the mouse wheel, you can rapidly scroll through the offset planes to reveal changes in amplitude, such as this event in the middle of the inline that seems to get brighter with increased offset. Turning on a time slice in the 3D view creates a new slice navigation marker in the gather view. Using the right mouse button, I can drag a letterbox zoom around that slice. Using the right mouse again, an amplitude graph for this slice can be displayed. The amplitude graph can be zoomed in or out in the same way as the seismic data. The marker can be interactively positioned to a new slice updating the amplitude graph and displayed slice in the 3D view. Stepping through time slices in the 3D view also updates the amplitude graph in the gather view. Let's go back to the full stack display in the 3D view and make the gather view bigger again. The gather panel can be narrowed by scrolling the mouse wheel in the offset axes. The entire Z range can be displayed using right mouse click in the Z axes. The desired range can then be selected by dragging the right mouse in the Z axes. Typing 9 in the show crossline gathers increases the number of gathers displayed. Changing the spacing to 100 puts each gather 100 traces apart and generates a section across the prospect. A single right click in the offset axis fits all the gathers to the new display. Moving the mouse cursor from panel to panel shows the gather positions in the 3D view that are now spread across the whole inline. I'm going to change the volume displayed to a process volume called Mute Gathers and overlay a set of previously created mutes. These are angle mutes created using ray tracing and velocity data, and show the first 50 degrees of angles. The mute gathers process that I selected for display currently has nothing applied, but I can select one of my mutes to trim the noisy part of the gather data. Here is a 40 degree mute, and here is a 50 degree mute. Now my data is less noisy. I'm going to stretch the z-axis by dragging the right mouse to see the bright amplitudes near the current time slice. But the time slice navigation marker cuts through the structure and so the amplitude graph shows a different event in almost every panel. To see an amplitude corresponding to stratigraphy, the data must be flattened or interpreted as a horizon. Here is an existing 4D interpretation that follows both the current structure and the offset. The display settings can be used to turn off the navigation markers, which are no longer effective for this display. Now I can see a clear class two or class three anomaly for that bright amplitude. The horizon can be interpreted in the gather view, 
the same way as a regular section view. Turn on the pencil, make the edits, and turn off the pencil when finished. Let's go back to a single gather panel and display the whole Z range again. Doug Insight is very flexible with seismic data and can store several different types of four dimensional gathers. So far, we've been looking at offset gathers. The control panel has many processes that create other types of gather. Angle gathers convert offset gathers to the angle domain using velocity. The gather header listed in the control panel shows the new description of angle. AVA stack rotation is used to explore changes in AVA response for an event. The gather header listed in the control panel shows the new description of rotation angle. Spectral decomposition decomposes input data into its constituent frequencies. The gather header listed in the control panel shows the new description of frequency. The radon process performs a parabolic or hyperbolic radon transform on gathers to identify noise. The gather header listed in the control panel shows the new description of P. The FK transform can also be used to identify noise. The gather header listed in the control panel shows the new description of K, wave number. All of these gather types and others can be displayed, manipulated or interpreted in the gather view alongside other data types or by themselves. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com and remember, have fun with insight!